So I am here actually in Orlando, Florida. We uh, came out, OGT came out for Provoticon, and I'm here with one of my favorite blenders in the industry. That is Paul Stulak. Paul, it's great to be here and meet you in person. Pleasure to be here, brother. And uh, Paul's actually been working on an exclusive project for us and the OGT Cigar Society. It is a 6x46 Connecticut Broadleaf. It is coming to OGT and all of our members, but this Sunday, coming up, I believe which is the 13th of November, Paul's actually coming out to our shop. So if you want to meet him, he's going to be there, which we're super excited about. Um, and we're not, yeah, we're not only uh, launching the cigar, but also your line. So if you don't mind kind of educating us a little bit on what is it that you like to find in a cigar in your portfolio, like strength-wise, what, what is it that you normally try to aim toward? My big thing in the uh, world of cigars is not just flavor, because I think flavor is very subjective to people. Sure. Everyone has a different flavor. My philosophy has always been it has to smoke like a cigar, meaning that the, I'm, I'm big on draw, yeah. burn, construction, because I've always, uh, I've always likened it to buying a bottle of wine. I don't care how great the bottle of wine is, if you couldn't get the cork out and you couldn't drink the wine, yeah. Yeah. Well, who cares how good it is? Whether yeah. <laughs> you like it or you don't, it really doesn't matter. So that's that's my big thing, to be okay. honest with okay. you. Yeah. Now, some of the cigars that we've seen come through the OGT humidors, like Nuevo Comienzo, which you have two different blends of, Limitada and Broadleaf. Um, and what was kind of the execution of those blends? Well, those were cigars that uh, were in the works for a long time under uh, a name that I had after I had gone through a, a, a period of just feeling kind of blah about things in the industry with the FDA and everything. And then I got rejuvenated and came out with El Nuevo Comienzo, which translates to the new beginning. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it was kind of appropriate, the new yeah. beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like starting again. I started working with Provada and was really excited again about the industry. So I looked at it as the new starting point. Okay. And we had several blends for this cigar. Okay. I, can't remember, I don't know. I think it was up there with like something like 30 blends, 33 wow. cigars. Now that was that was the long list. It got shortened down pretty quickly right. with right, you know right. Brian and myself trying this, trying that, and then it came down to making the decision. And I was like, "What do you think? What do you think?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's. He says, well, I, I like 25. Okay. And I said, okay, well, I like 26. Okay. He goes, no, 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 no. We got to go with 25. And I said, I don't know, man. I think we should go 26. Okay. Anyway, in all of our little, you know, battle with this uh, cigar, we decided to do a contest for everyone. Okay. The, we okay. sent it out to the Pravada members and said, let them decide. Okay. Well, okay. that became even more complicated because <laughs> guess what? It was almost a tie. It wasn't 26 won out by just a little bit. Yeah. I took yeah, a yeah. little pride in that one. But, <laughs> but it wasn't enough for me to show off with. So what okay. we decided to do was both. <laughs> okay. okay. So the one with the San Andreas wrapper, the number 25, became the uh, Privada, Li Privada Limitada. Okay. And the one under Stulac uh, Cigars became the Exclusiva. Okay. Okay. So, um, and both of those blends uh, are available. They're both fantastic. And as people have probably seen before on videos I've done, I'm a huge fan of Connecticut Broadleaf. So we also are a big fan of your Red Screaming Sun, which uses that. But also the new blend, 6x46, is also a Broadleaf. And I was super overjoyed when, when I said, I know it's hard to get, and I know it's expensive. And you had said, I have an allotment. Um, and so what was kind of the, the evolution of the blend coming? For yours? Yeah. It was more just what you described to me. Yeah. And then between Guillermo and myself, we kind of nailed it down. He's yeah. obviously the expert, so I can kind of just throw stuff out there and he gets it yeah. <laughs> right yeah, away. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, I, think, and, I don't think we, what did we do? Just a, a couple of blends before yeah, you decided yeah. on what you like. We went back and forth a little bit, and the one that I really enjoy that we landed on. Connecticut Broadleaf, creamy sweet in the middle, a little bit of pepper up front, so it's got that like power behind it foundationally, but then you have this great sweetness through, the it burns incredibly, the ash is very white, it's just all around a really, really great I think bar. it's gonna be a hit for you guys. Yes, I really yes. Do. So if you guys wanna meet Paul, as I say, he's coming out to the shop, that would be Sunday, November 13th, 
We're going to be kicking off things about 2 o'clock. We're going to be going until about 7, releasing a bunch of his different brands, first time at the shop, as well as the first inside look at what is coming to OGT Cigar Society. So I can't wait to have you guys, you out here and uh, meet all of our clientele, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic, and it was even cooler because yes. I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah. And here we are. I bumped into this guy yet last night. And I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so, Same question came back at me. What are you doing here? Right, so anyway. right. And it'll be great, and it's a great way to meet Paul as well as some of his blends. We're going to be running a bunch of special deals. It's going to be awesome, so don't miss it. And thank you so much for your contribution to the Society members and what's coming. My pleasure. Looking awesome. forward to being at OGT.